I heard on the radio about the stuff he's doing in Rockville, at home and stuff. Mm -hmm. How's the community center and all that stuff going through? So you said how the community center going? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's going good. We had, we had our um, ribbon yeah. cut about, about three, almost three weeks ago now. So it's open and kicking and people going and having a good time and uh, excited to be a part of that. And uh, I got to go back out there soon and just, you know, touch it, see how everything, everything going. Um, you, uh, He's trying to help the kids and get back to the community with that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, the focus for this center is on more on the teens. Um, we got a lot of things going for the kids in motion as far as, you know, middle school ages and down, but uh, something that's helping the teens get ready for that next transition in their life, whether it's going into the workforce, getting prepared for college, you know, learn the trade, whatever it may be, that's the focus of the teen center. Um, when I'm when I when I can, I mean, uh, I don't live in Clarence anymore, but I mean, whenever I have a have time to like on the off day or something. Where is it at? It's in Rockdale County. Rockdale. Yep, yep. On right the, off the county. Yep, right off West Avenue, little Johnson Park, and uh, on, on the expansion area side of it. Is it something in the process for maybe a little bit here and here? Is that something you want to do all across the land? Right. Um, is that, like, is that a bigger, broader? Impact? You know, that's actually a great question, and uh, something that we definitely talk, talked about looking to. I think it'll be good. You know, right now I'm just focused on, um, you know, where my feet are playing. That's where you know, right there, right there, right there, because I had the, you know, the connections like right now, right there. And I'm sure there's nothing to reach out to anybody in Atlanta to to kind of expand that, because I think it definitely be something really good for the city. So as far as the game here, uh, what's uh, what's some of the challenges y'all? The yeah, you know, first and foremost, you know, very, very um, skilled team. Um, they got a really, really good running back. Uh, got them back off of injury. Uh, good quarterback. Um, more mobile than some may think, and, but also can make some plays with his arm. Uh, formidable offensive line, man. Them guys, you know, they're trying to run the ball physical up front. Um, and um, they had some injuries, but, you know, they, they, they were smart and brought in a you know, former first round pick that they had from Cincinnati, you know, Price playing center for them. And so, I mean, they got some guys up front. It's going to be a fun challenge and uh, definitely looking forward to it. When you see a line, an interior of a line that's playing together for the first time ever, you know, a lot of these guys are on their second team. Do you get your eyes going, even you know, this year, your career, eyes wide open? Oh, they, they might have community, they, there could be opportunities here. I mean, not necessarily, you know, I mean, we all pros, you know, they, they on the team for a reason. Uh, they team believe in them for a reason, and uh, they put them out there because they believe they can get the job done, and so we got to line up and go against whoever they put out there. So you never take anyone lightly, and uh, you always respect your opponent, and uh, I think they going to put their best foot forward. I was looking at the uh, post and tack rush ticked up a little bit last week, and how do y'all want to keep trying to get that going and get to the quarterback? A little yeah, bit absolutely. More. Just want to find opportunities because here to get to the quarterback, you know, whether it's um, blisters making mismatches or you know covering for you know one another so we can get get back to the quarterback, however it may be, just affecting that pocket, pushing that pocket, and uh, I think we start off with some with two good challenges in, in the Bucks and the Eagles, uh, two of the best offensive lines in, in the game. You know what I'm saying? To to see where we at and continue to grow. So um, I'm excited for what's to come for this defense and um, also us getting after the pass. You talk about assignment football, kind of old school action ball, but in the middle. But that don't really help. That don't really. Uh, no, I mean it does. It does. In the middle, man, it's just just as important as the edges. Okay. Because on his own read, you know, he could get that ball. If you're not in the gap, he could hit it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. So, so the middle um, being disciplined in your gaps is just as important on the edge and playing your different jobs against the zone read. Um, obviously, we had some trouble with it against Philly, so we definitely want to go out there and put it, do better this week and um, show that we can play it and stop it really good. From, from your vantage point, what went wrong? What went so wrong there? Um, you know, basically just, just you know, first, no no excuses first and foremost, but you know, just first time out, get some new looks. Obviously both teams are prepared with new coaches, new systems, new players and different things. No, we didn't know what to expect, you know what I'm saying? But obviously learning from our mistakes and things that we can get better from is something that we're excited to go out and put forth. Anything else for Grady? Yeah.